Well, uh, today I experimented uh, preparing uh, accordion reed wax at home. Uh, so as you can see, this is uh, beeswax. I purchased uh, six pieces each is uh, one ounce. And I also purchased this uh, uh, rosin. <coughs> Rosen, this is also about uh, the same uh, one ounce, I think, a little less than one ounce. I'm not sure. I think it is about an ounce. And uh, so beeswax, one ounce, and uh, rosin, one ounce. And I used a teaspoon, maybe a little less than a teaspoon of, maybe I should have used less than that, of linseed oil, which I had uh, at home. And I purchased this uh, <coughs> wax pot. You know, people use it to uh, remove uh, wax their uh, hair. I saw it on YouTube, somebody using it, so I thought, why not try it? Not very expensive, but it doesn't really heat up much. I think uh, probably su sufficient for wax, but not for uh, not for uh, rosin. I realized it by experimenting. I first, uh, now what you see there inside is a mixture of uh, uh, beeswax, rosin and linseed oil. I again heated it up just to see uh, if everything melts and the temperature is uh, less than maximum. It has cut off now and it is still in liquid state. But how I attained this is uh, <laughs> uh, all experiments again. First, I tried to, uh, because I read uh, all the stories about people trying to uh, mix these three things uh, without uh, much success. So, rosin having a higher temperature uh, melting uh, point, uh, I think it's around 120 degrees Celsius, if I'm not mistaken. I don't recall exactly. I heated that up first. But then it just came to, uh, what I did was, uh, this has a container uh, inside, you know, this is, uh, see, you can see, this uh, comes off. Uh, I put a little water inside, just a little water, and uh, with that, the rosin melted, but then again it uh, became a solid, and it wouldn't melt once the water uh, was gone. So what I did, uh, I took it to the uh, the regular our uh, you know kitchen uh, gas stove, and then uh, with this handle removed uh, because I was afraid uh, that I would melt this. I just heated under uh, low flame until the rosin uh, became uh, liquid, and then added the uh, beeswax. I added the beeswax and then uh, everything uh, mixed well, um, contrary to what I have read before, that it doesn't mix well. I think that's because they didn't melt the rosin, uh, uh, they didn't bring it to the right temperature. So now after that the beeswax melted and then I just added uh, some linseed oil. As I mentioned, I should have added a little less but then almost close to a teaspoon I added. Uh, I read somewhere that a few drops, but then it doesn't say for how many uh, <clears> hours. <throat> maybe I missed it. Uh, it's not the end of the story. I can actually add uh, some more wax if needed. And then uh, I let it cool and it solidify, solidified, became a solid. Then what I wanted to see whether this pot really helps maintaining the temperature when I'm repairing the accordion uh, reeds, when I'm mounting uh, to the, uh, the block, the reed block. So I brought it uh, again to this pot, the, weak, uh, the wax pot, and then as you can see it is in uh, liquid state. Uh, yeah, it is in liquid state and uh, with the temperature uh, not at maximum, maybe I should reduce and see when it, uh, they say that maybe a little more than medium it should be okay. This is a 100 watt uh, heater and it is still in liquid state. Now on the gas stove it was uh, 
the viscosity was uh, very low and uh, it flowed very freely yeah, I think that is not really required when we are uh, mounting the uh, reed plates on the reed block so let me see how it works I'll uh, use this and then uh, make another video of uh, uh, how useful or whether it is good bad ugly whatever I have also placed an order for uh, the regular uh, mixed reed wax but I since I had already placed an order for uh, the bees wax and uh, the rosin I thought let me experiment and then try it out so that's about it folks I'll get back uh, with another video using uh, this one and I'm I plan to use it straight from here or maybe I can sort of once it uh, becomes a liquid I can pour it into maybe a rectangular uh, pieces uh, with aluminum foil so that I can use a soldering iron if needed to uh, reflow the uh, the wax if needed but let me see how it works out thank you